What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Intergalactic Space Arcade here at Classic Game Room, where I'm about to film the studio footage for the CGR Hyper Review of Assetto Corsa. But before I do, this gigantic box arrived from Eric in Pasadena, California. Now, Eric sent a giant box a couple months ago filled with handheld LCD games. So, I must say I'm curious to see what's in this one. So we're going to open it with the Intergalactic Space Knife, courtesy of Tim. I named it, so. The Intergalactic Space Knife is going to open this thing, and um, I'm, hoping, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping for the uh, Steel Battalion 3 prototype on PlayStation 5, personally. I'm thinking that's what's in here, so let's find out. It's not that heavy. It could just be air. All right, well, let's see what we got in here. More packing material. Yes, I love this stuff. I need that for the Kickstarter. <laughs> I get to pull about two all-nighters shipping everything, by the way. All right, what do we have in here? A whole lot of packing material, which is good. Like I said, it's not that heavy, so... Oh, there's something down here on the bottom. Ah, oh, I see Atari. Ooh, a bunch of Atari things. Eric, you're spoiling me. A boxed copy of Sword Quest Earthworld. Yes! And I can play the $150,000 Sword Quest Challenge. And now I can use the internet to cheat and easily win that. Sweet! I actually have all the Earth Quest games, or I'm sorry, the Sword Quest games. I have Water World and Fire World. Um, I do not have Jello World. I don't, I don't think that one, um, well, it actually doesn't exist. But I don't have a boxed copy of this, so wow. What else do we have in here? I need two hands to open this. This is pretty exciting. I love, I, I more than anything else, more than any other kind of boxed games. Atari ones are my favorite because they, they bring me back to 1986 or 87 when I opened a bunch of them for Christmas or whatever, and it was like the happiest moment ever. And there's just a certain feel to them that nothing else has. Not even the Sega Genesis games. The Atari games have a, have a certain feel when you open them. So, pretty excited about that. More joysticks! You know what they say. You can never have too many Atari joysticks. That is what they say. And if they don't, they should. <laughs> Where did you find this? Moto Rodeo. I was really looking forward to playing that on the Atari Flashback 7, which I'm actually going to be reviewing today, uh, filming the review for that today. But, um, now I have it on the actual Atari 2600. Oh, wow, there's more. Thank you, Eric. Wow. But wait, there's more. I now have an extra set of keyboard controllers in the box, and I love the type font. Looks great on bright green. Boxed copy of Sword Quest Fireworld. Where I'm also going to cheat and win $150,000. Box copy, Haunted House. $4.99. Secret Quest. This game is great, but I do not have it in the box, so thank you, Eric. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Not one of my favorites on the Atari, but I do like the box art. I'm pretty sure it'll be better than uh, the next Indiana Jones movie, though. Dark Chambers, I was actually just about to review this one, but now I have it in the box, so that's good. Master the Subterranean Kingdom, I can add a packaging review to the full CGR review. Uh, it's a pretty cool game. And I'm really excited about this. Xenophobe, one of my favorite arcade games on Atari 2600. I uh, reviewed this for the NES and the 7800. I used to play the arcade game a lot. I'm curious to see how they managed to uh, port this over to the Atari 2600. 
And one more, last but not least, because it's going up on the shelf because the packaging art is remarkable. Basic programming. The dude's got the metal turtleneck, the mustache, the knobs, the dials, the attitude. It's basic programming for Atari 2600. I, I've actually never reviewed this yet, so... We'll put them here. There we go. Basic programming. Thank you, Eric. There's many, many more shows to come. Thank you for the note, by the way. And, uh... I have this. I have the Starfighter controller, but not, not in this packaging. I love the colors. I'm actually, I might. I may use these colors here for a T-shirt design. I'm looking at a couple other retro-style T-shirt designs. So, all right. I was just uh, organizing everything. About to log it, take a picture of it, and uh, re remember, there's actually one other one other Atari game that Eric sent to the show, and I think a lot of you Atari fans are going to love this. Get ready for it. It's Sword Quest Air World. The missing Sword Quest game. Not Jello World. Air World. So I'll be uh, playing this later today. Really excited. Oh, come on, Eric. That's not nice. If you're going to buy the game anyway, buy it through ClassicGameRoom.com. Classic Game Room is supported by fans on Patreon. Thank you. Now prepare for the Lord Carnage Club where I celebrate these backers on Patreon by shouting their name in a volcano! Derek Langley Beer is the trick Steven Chucknick From New Jersey Michael Fernandez People not named Michael Fernandez aren't Michael Fernandez Al Stiver Jason, 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 Jason from British Columbia. Philip Strabenmuller from Vienna, Austria. Austria. Cue the thunder. Jeff, Captain Dauntless, Briar. Cue the lava. I don't know what lava sounds like. It sounds like this. Jack Stavris from Australia. Oh, hi, Connie. Master of Thunder. Chip Sankvale, Fighter of Space Bees! Woo! Rick DeBarros gets the extra disco. Michael and Ariana Nelson! Nelson. Fighters of the future! That's enough disco, because now it's time to shout Busy Signal! That's right, and keep the volume loud and the party rocking for Sean Zoltek. Really? No. Sean Zoltek! Sergio Matthias Hergert! Tubular! Will! Will! Will? Will! Will! Will. Will.